So welcome back friends. Winter, of course, is just around the corner and winter for us is a time, and I think for many folks that live in the country, for getting things buttoned up, getting things prepared because we have harsher environments, right? If you break down in the side of the road in the middle of nowhere in wintertime, it's a whole lot different than the summertime. So we are going to be covering my winter car or truck survival kit. Now this is not a personal kit. This is the stuff that you want to have in your vehicle. Now don't worry if you have more than one vehicle, it doesn't mean you have to have one for each one. The reason why I've put this together the way it is, is it so it can be easily transported and that it's not too heavy so that anyone can take it. So when is this going to be applicable? Well, if you live in the country, it should probably be in your main truck or car all the time. Or if you're going to go on vacation, if you're going to go skiing or go on a trip or anything like that, I really recommend putting it in. If you're just running down to the store or something, and of course you don't need those things if you're a phone call away from help, it's not a big deal. But this is where it starts. And the, the basic, the, the, the starting point of it is the container and the best I've ever found. And the only thing that I buy anymore when it comes to storage totes are the rubber made tough boxes. This is the littlest one that they make. You can get these at Walmart or on Amazon. They're not very expensive. And here's the deal with the containers. We have bought hundreds of storage containers and we buy the cheap ones, you know, the ones they have on, on sale after Christmas. Those things, they just, they just break, they don't hold up. Every one of these action packer tough boxes that I've bought, I still have and I still use today. They're so strong you can use them as a step ladder. So that's where you want to start. So let's dig inside and uh, go through item line by line. As Wrangler Star subscribers, I know that you guys are going to all be prepared and this kit is not going to be for you. But what does the good book say? There's no greater love than a man lay down his life for his neighbor or helps him dig himself out of a snowbank or helps him put his tire chains on, etc we are oftentimes gonna be required to be helping other folks, especially if you live in snowy country, because the truth of the matter is that folks just aren't prepared. Uh, they're just not prepared and, and hopefully um, we have something in here that can, well, we can be the good Samaritan. Okay, so the way this stuff is laid out, also pay special mind, it's done intentionally so that one of the, the things that I'm gonna be needing the most are going to be on top and I don't have to empty the whole box for it. So a pair of gloves, a good pair of leather gloves, even if they're, they're just some extras, the ones that, you know, my old wildland gloves, when I retire them, I have them, a couple different reasons, putting on tire chains and doing, getting vehicle retrieval and stuff in the snow, your hands are gonna to be very cold and you come across a car that's on fire with occupants trapped inside that metal is hot trust me I have first-hand knowledge of this and a pair of heavy-duty nice gloves are going to be very very thankful or working around broken glass so you're gonna to want to have a pair of gloves on top this handle we're gonna come back to okay so also we're gonna have you know what are the the most problems that we're gonna have with vehicles is gonna be tires and radiators, you know, that may be fan belts, maybe leaks. It's gonna typically be the cooling system. Anything outside of that, it, you know, it starts to get into pretty heavy mechanical. And well, unless you're a mechanic, you probably don't know what to do anyway. So there are a few things that we can do to take care of that. And these are all things that I've used and have saved the day for me. This is radiator stop leak. This can be poured into a radiator, and if you have a pinhole leak or, or you've hit a rock or a stone or something that has knocked a small hole in a radiator, it works. This has saved the day. You can get this at your parts store. You pour it in there. Just make sure when you're done, you flush out and you get it fixed, flush it out and, and get rid of it. So I'm gonna put that in there. Sticking kind of on the vein of repairs, I'm gonna have some really good duct tape. You can repair hoses, you can repair all sorts of things. If you have a latch that fails and your hood's popping up, you can tape it down. We don't need to go into all of that. And there are some new products on the market that are just really wonderful. Uh, one of the good ones here is this FiberFlex tape this heat wrap. This you can wrap around a radiator hose, you can wrap it around a broken exhaust, you can repair, I mean it hardens like steel. It's incredible, incredible stuff. It's got the instructions on the back. Another one here, if you're dealing with high pressure stuff, if you have a hydraulic line or different things, this stuff here, I mean they claim it can hold 950 PSI. I haven't tried that, but I have tried it up to 100 and it does indeed work. You just wrap it around, it self -adhere, it adheres to its, it, 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 it's self-adhesive, um, again, fixes the thing. So these deals right here are kind of for automotive repairs and fixes. And of course, you can't go wrong with having electrical tape. Electrical tape is really great. Um, it's a little bit different than duct tape in that it's got a little stretch to it and you can really pull it tight. So if I was only gonna have one, uh, this would probably be 
duct tape, electrical tape, but the other ones are, are really, really nice. Now, a can of fix a flat, I know that's not going to fix every tire, and if you run over a big piece of steel or something, it's not going to do that. But what you get with these extra large cans is you get an inflator. So if you do have a problem with a tire, if you do it that you can plug with a patch kit, uh, you can use this uh, you know, as an inflator and it, it actually does work. So don't cheap out, don't get the dollar store one, get the big tall one, especially if you have big truck tires and keep this in your kit. They do, it does work and a lot of times it will certainly save the day. Also to that, I'm gonna have some JB Weld or equivalent in here. It's a two part epoxy uh, that you mix together that can fix an oil pan leak. It can fix um, broken aluminum. It can fix a water pump uh, that might be leaking on you. Um, again, I've repaired it. I've done them. Uh, my granddad was a mechanic. He did repairs on old tractors and things. And, and that was, they went on for 20, 30, 40 years and still held on there. So that's having that is, is super, super handy. Okay, jumping in here. So I'm also going to keep, and this is if you live in a snowy or icy environment, a, a pretty good bag of cat litter. Now cat litter does a couple different things. You can use it to clean up an oil spill uh, with the fire department. We carry bags of it for, for cleaning that stuff up. But what I primarily carry it for, it's really a great traction aid. You can sprinkle this if you're stuck on ice and it's melting and you just can't get any traction. You can sprinkle that down on the ground underneath the tires and it will hook up. So I have a pretty good bunch of that in here, double bagged, of course. And as you can see, the first bag's leaking um, and then a bunch of shop towels. If you, you need to, if you don't have toilet paper or you can't get to a facility or something, um, having those in there is very nice or for cleaning up your hands if you do some greasy work. So just double bag it with the heavy Ziploc freezer bags with the cat litter um, and the, the shop towels. Also, I'm going to have in here a good knife, a good sturdy knife, not a folding knife, but a fixed blade knife. Uh, and the one I've got a couple of these and I really like them. The Sog Seal Pup is a great, great knife. It's not very expensive. It's very high quality. It's very strong. You know, anything like a K-Bar or something, you know, just find something used. You don't have to find anything fancy. This is kind of a put it in the forget the kit and forget. It also, the nice thing about the, that little SOG is it comes with a fire steel in there. And then I just poke in a lighter. You can put a Bic lighter in there. It fits in the case and you have the whole thing. So you can grab and go. You've got a good sheath knife uh, for doing anything you need to do. And just put it in there and leave it in there. And um, who knows? Who knows what, what, how that might come in handy. I'm gonna keep an old rain jacket. Uh, when you, next time you go garage sailing, you know, look for, for a rain jacket and get a big one. Get it a size too big, make sure it has a hood on it so that if you're wearing a winter's coat or something that's really bulky that you can get it over the top. If you need to crawl underneath a vehicle and help someone put their chains on or get them unstuck, and chances are it's going to happen when you're on your way to church and you're going to have your Sunday best on and you don't want to get it all spoiled. Uh, so just get yourself a cheap raincoat, extra size bigger with a hood. Also, if you get stuck and you need to walk out and it's raining, this is going to keep you dry and uh, a lot more comfortable. Speaking of which, kind of what goes with that is uh, you could either choose to carry a tarp or a space blanket. I, I like these space blankets and get the name brand ones, the good ones. These are like six feet by eight feet. And this is really nice to throw down on the ground if you have to slide underneath your vehicle to hook up a tow chain, hook up a, a tow strap, uh, wh whatever. And it also doubles as an emergency blanket. You can come across folks that uh, have maybe uh, had got into a car accident and one of the big killers is shock. And if you can help keep them warm, this goes a long ways. You can wrap them up in these and they're not very thick and they have dual purpose being a tarp and a blanket and you can keep a lot of warmth in there. So if you have the room, it's really nice to be able to carry like an army style wool blanket. Uh, but if you don't have room for that, then this is kind of a, a good a catch all deal uh, that will fill kind of both roles. I'm also going to keep in there a dedicated glass breaker. Now a glass breaker, is if you have ever tried to break a modern tempered glass windows, um, it's not easy. You can pound them with rocks, you can beat on them, you can kick on them, and you cannot hardly break them. One little pro tip you can do is you can break off or unhook the antenna. If the antenna has a small ball on it, 
you can whip it sideways. If you put enough force into it, that antenna ball will shatter that glass. But a quick way to do it is to have one of these glass breakers. They're super cheap on Amazon. You're just talking about like an add-on item, a couple dollars. Most of them are gonna have a razor blade in there that works as a seatbelt cutter, uh, but this is something that you definitely want. You should have one of these in the glove box ready to get to as well. But having this that you could grab is most likely gonna help someone out if they're stranded or trapped in a vehicle. Because most vehicle impacts, if you've ever ran on them, if they hit hard, you won't be able to get those doors open. If you have some car that's on fire and you can't get the doors open and you can't break the glass for lack of something like this, you'd have a hard time living with yourself, you know? So glass breakers, not, not a bad idea. We live in the forest. Uh, so every time we have a windstorm or a storm, uh, there's always trees down across the road. And nothing is worse than being on a long trip and you want to get home or you want to get back out and there's a tree across the road and you can't, it's too big, you can't move it out of the way. So having a saw or a small hatchet, you could do either way. I like the saw, it just fits better in the kit and um, it's a little bit less expensive. And this is a very capable saw. You can cut a 24 inch log out of the way. It's gonna, you're gonna be there a while, but you have to make four cuts, but you can do it and you can get out. So having a saw, or even if you come across uh, low hanging branches and you don't wanna scratch up your vehicle or tear off your windshield wipers, you know, having a saw is good for lots of things. If you need to start a fire, a lot of these things you're gonna use, not necessarily for emergency, uh, but just when you go camping and stuff, I have it. Maybe you forgot or left something behind and a saw is a really great thing to happen. This is a silky, this is a silky big boy, but there's lots of good ones out there. Okay, this in here is an emergency food kit. What I'm gonna have in here are a couple things. I'm gonna have the ability to boil water. I'm gonna have a cup and I'm gonna have a stove. There's a stove in there with a, the with a gas and I'm gonna have spoons and I'm gonna have uh, big, like Costco sized bags of beef jerky and freeze dried food me meals. There's six meals in there. So that you could, if you got stranded or got in a problem, forgot some food, whatever, uh, you can have, you could survive several days on this and, and have some pretty good meals uh, and be able to boil and cook water. There's also some coffee in there and some tea and sugar and just some basic things. It's not a gourmet food package by any means, but it's a one, one-stop shop right there where you've got some meals if you need to feed someone. The beef jerky is what typically uh, what typically, typically you go in at. I'm going to have three road flares. Now, the reason why I stick with the old school road, road flares in the emergency kit versus the electric LED ones is that these are a wonderful fire starter. So I like things that kind of fit dual roles, that have dual purposes. So if you do need a fire, in addition to what we have on our seal pup kit, uh, we've got these and you can start fires with in any environment with road flares. They burn super hot and they uh, will dry out about anything. So you get that, you also have a signaling device, you have the ability to uh, stop traffic if you get a flat tire or break down on a dangerous corner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you want three and get the long ones, get the big ones. They fit the big Orions, they fit in the, in the kit.